So Joey C goes and buys followers, so it looks like he's popular. 4.57 thousand followers. Of course, on the videos, you have 58 views, 33 views, 200 views. The morning show with Lou and Kai, whoever that is. So he's got a network. This one's the one I wanted to look at. The Alpha Shot Lounge with Mr. Big Shot and the Alpha Female, which is Mrs. Catalano. These are two of the dumbest people on the internet. According to Joey C, I heard, Joey C used to really get into prostitutes, and I guess that's how he met Christina. She's a literal whore that he was fucking. She, like, fucks people for drugs and money, I guess. Mr. Big Shot, a semi-functional retarded kid, was drilling out her whore daughter before she OD'd on mescaline or whatever. Spider Alomar dated the daughter who stabbed them, not the daughter who died. Okay. My bad. They also have a son who just got arrested for something. It's a family full of fucking criminals, drug addicts, and whores. And then they hang out with this fucking idiot kid, Spider Alomar, a junkie their daughter used to fuck before she went on a stabbing spree. But he wears sunglasses and tells you like it is. Watch this. You couldn't make this up if you tried. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Mr. Big Shot Show and the Alpha Female Show. Do you hear the confidence in this young man's voice? Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Mr. Big Shot Show. Watch him do this 30 times. Welcome to the Mr. Big Shot Show. He's out of breath, just like Joey. Ha, ha, ha. And the Alpha Female Show. We have something very in store for y'all tonight. We have something very in store for y'all tonight. Until then. Until then? Isn't it now? Hit the like and describe button. The like and describe button. All right. How was your day? My day was lovely. I mean, these people have the energy of swamp grass. Is this is how we're starting a show? Yeah, I hear the weather up there is getting... uh nice you're already on weather so nice when do you guys start getting snow up there i'm gonna tell you right now we haven't really have had too much snow here please tell me right now please tell me right now by the way you know they all love to use this basic bitch background with the piano we just saw your home christina it's a trap house not because you sell drugs but because if you walked in there you'd probably get trapped look at his fucking facial hair i'm sorry like, imagine leaving the house like this. I wish I could say the same here. It's cold. My hands is freezing. Yeah, spider. Tell it like it is, motherfucker. Yeah. Have yourself a field. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. How's your mom? <laughs> a lot of these people are confused about what, what should be private phone calls and what should be a podcast. All this stuff I got when I was working over at Amazon. <laughs> That's where I was rolling the money. But That's right. Not <laughs> when he worked at Amazon, you know he was like a distribution center guy. He liked to help package stuff. The first day I started working over there, I said, hold on. Y'all got to trim it real good on this forklift because I ain't going to crash no, on the stand up. Right. So I crashed. I told her. When I got hired to be an accountant, I said, y'all better treat me real good at being an accountant because I'm going to do these numbers just right. And then I didn't do the numbers just right. I made so many mistakes adding the numbers up. <laughs> and then I got a job. And then I got a job at McDonald's uh, making the french fries. And I was like, y'all better treat me real good. I'm making the french fries because I'm not going to burn my hand in the grease. <laughs> and then two days later, I burned my whole hand in the grease. If I was a hiring supervisor at Amazon and a guy came into work right away and said, you better treat me real good on this forklift because I'm not going to crash. I'd be like, well, you're off the forklift. I mean, I that's the weirdest thing anyone's ever said to me. And in my first week there, I met a boo-boo. What's I that? lift the thing up too high and the trailer went through the roof. I lift the thing up too high and the trailer went through the roof. Oh my lord. How long did you I work got, there for after that? 
I still kept my job. They just kicked me out the machine for a week and piss tested me. They kicked me out the machine for a week and piss tested me. I oh said, my bro, God. my bad. I bro, my bad. You know, I told him my bad. Why are you firing me? I said my bad. I think I was going too high. I was trying to get the thing off there and raise it too high. <laughs> Imagine that being your, your explanation to your boss, too. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? You went through the roof. He's like, I didn't think it was that high. I was trying to lift it up, but I, did, I didn't mean to go through the roof, but it was higher than I thought. I didn't mean to do it that high, but it went that high. That's your excuse when your boss is like, what happened? Not like, oh, I had a muscle, muscle spasm and jerked the lever or like, you know, I miscalculated. No, I thought it wasn't so high, but then it was. I didn't mean to put the hole in the roof, but then I did. I didn't mean to. They just kicked me out the machine for a week and piss tested me. Oh yes. my Go lord. Go back to training again. <laughs> they piss tested me. Which one of these is piss?